Hello, I'm an application technical lead for pathology imaging at Leica Biosystems. Today, I will walk you through the general guidelines on how to operate the Imperial GT450. This section contains instructions for scanning slides. Make sure the Leica logo and side up text on the rack is facing up. Ensure the slide labels are facing out and up. Slides are scanned in the order they are loaded. Place the loaded rack into an open slot in the carousel like so. Push the rack forward until it stops. You should hear a click sound and the rack position on the home screen will turn light blue. Continue loading racks until you feel the front six rack slots. Wait for the carousel to rotate more empty rack slots to the loading area. Continue loading racks as needed. When a rack is scanned successfully, its status will turn green. You can now remove the completed rack and load another. To unload a rack from the carousel, remove the rack from the rack slot. Tap the rack position. Tap rotate to move the rack to the loading area. Carefully remove the rack once it has rotated to the front. Use priority scanning to move one or more racks to the front of the scan queue. You can prioritize up to three racks at a time. Tap the rack position. Tap priority. The priority icon and scan queue number will appear. To view the rack scan order, see page 19 in your user manual. To cancel a priority, remove the rack. To check the scan status of a rack, compare the rack position status color against the legend. Empty gray, rack is empty and available for use. Waiting to scan, light blue. The rack is loaded successfully and waiting to scan. Scanning, dark blue. The rack is currently being scanned. Complete, green. All slides in the rack scan successfully and pass to image QC. Scan images are saved to a specific location. Warning, orange. There is an issue with one or more slides in the rack. Priority, explanation point. The rack is set for priority scanning. To view scan statistics, tap stats. To change the time frame of the statistics, tap the buttons above the graph. To show the scan status for each slide in the rack, tap the rack view icon. Slide status colors correspond to the legend. To view the individual images for the selected rack, select the rack by tapping it on the touch screen. Tap the slide view icon. To show the scan order of the racks, tap the rack order icon. Racks in the list appear in scan order with their scan status indicated. An orange rack position indicates a problem with the rack or one or more slides in the rack. Tap to select the rack position with the warning. Note the error message and number and refer to errors and solutions in your user manual. Rack issues, error message and number appear. Slide issues, orange warning symbol in rack view indicates a slide error. Slide error message and number appear in the slide view. To scan the full slide area for a rack of slides, 
Load only the slides requiring a full slide area scan in the rack. Load the rack in the carousel. Tap to select the rack position. Tap settings, then tap and scan entire slide. The option is selected and the settings icon appears on the rack position. To scan a rack of slides at 20x magnification when the default is set to 40x. Load the rack with only the slides you want to scan at 20x. Tap the rack position that contains the slides. Tap settings, then tap scan at 20x. The option is selected and 20x appears on the rack position. During scanning, the rack view indicates the scanner is scanning this rack at 20x magnification. To scan a rack of slides using Z-Stack scanning, load the rack with only slides to be scanned as Z-Stack images. Group slides of similar tissue types in the same rack. Tap the rack position that contains the slides. Tap settings, then tap Z-Stack. To adjust the Z-Stack scan settings, adjust the number of layers using the minus and plus buttons on the number pad. Adjust the layer separation using the minus and plus buttons or the number pad. Tap Apply Z-Stack settings to start scanning the specified rack of slides. During scanning, the Z-Stack icon appears in rack view to indicate the scanner is scanning this rack as Z-Stack images. By following these guidelines, you can effectively operate the Aperio GT450 scanner. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips.